danger danger the phone is overheating danger danger the phone is overheat heat 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 da, da, da. we're back we are back it's okay this time unfortunately things overheated so we had to move this to part two like I was saying, Hollow Knight was developed by Australian studio Team Cherry, which they overblew and overdrew, if I had to say it that way also, expectations for creating this game. I'm talking like, they got a they want a little bit, they got a whole lot more than they wanted. It is a game that stood out amongst Nier Automata, Super Mario Odyssey. There were very little itty bitty games out there that garnered just as much as attention as the first party games. This one flew a little more under the radar because of when it came out and then it still had the word of mouth, or mouth, however you say it. The combat in this game involves using a nail to strike enemies from a short distance. The player can also use spells, allowing for long range attacks. You know, going like this. And the knight starts off with a limited number of mass shards, which represent the hit points he has. So you don't really have a health bar, you have a limited number of amount of times you can get hit in combat. You start off with five, the most you can get is nine, so look out for those mass shards. You can also do the same thing with your soul meter. Your soul meter is used to replenish your health and use for magic spells. Find those uh, soul shards and increase that as well. It doesn't grow bigger. You get little itsy bitsy little balls next to your main soul shard. Now when you strike enemies, you gain soul, which is stored in the soul vessel. Now when you die, you have to go find a shade, which is basically the little shadow of yourself, and you have to fight it to get back all your money. You want your money, so go fight that shade. Eat your soul vessel, it goes back to normal because when you die, your soul vessel gets cut in half, making adventuring a lot more difficult as well. The game features benches, which allow you to rest. And when you rest, the knight updates his map. And so you can see where you're going. Now I need to stop right there for a second, try to differentiate this from other games. Now there's a dude named Cornifer, another intelligent looking bug fellow that likes to sell maps for you. He's a cartographer of some sorts and you help out his a uh, lady worker, uh, Zelda, I believe, on the surface in Hollow Nest. Now you can advance as much as you want. Some paths are blocked off by certain powers that you need to go further, but you can go damn where, well, you can go damn near wherever you want to. Except when you go back to jot down where you've been, it's not gonna work because you don't have a map of the area. When you get a map of the area, then you can start tracking your progress. So you need to first and foremost find Cornifer whenever you get to a new area. Unless you're like me who got really lucky and <laughs> was able to find some bosses without some maps. I think that it, in a way that kind of slows down the progress of the game because you want to just be able to look up where you're going and keep adventuring. You don't have to find a guy who's drawing out some paper in the middle of the caves, listening out for some hum. just so you can find them. And trail, pa trails of paper also. Now I have screamed out many times in pure horror in this game. It feeds upon the fear I have of the dark and eight-legged freaks. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a clip in this video also that shows a three-stage enemy, normal enemy, not a boss, that walks and then flies and then goes back to like, <laughs> like coming at you to attack you. And you're in limited space, the corridors in this game they force you to be methodical about how you want to strike, whether it's a jumping strike or a ground-based attack or charging up uh, one of your charms you got. Ah, that leads into charms. There are over 40 charms. No, no, no. There are 40 charms with three extra ones that are story-based. Each of them, you can, they have their own ability and you need notches to equip these charms. The most notches you can get, I believe, is 11. I'll just put it up on the screen if I'm wrong. Then these are synergies also. There's a defender's crest, which smells like dookie, and then there's a mushroom crest, uh, which shoots out spores when you use your soul to heal. So if you combine the two of them, you get this nasty orange odor that does AOE damage as well when you're just walking around normally, in addition to healing. So you need to mix and match all these charms to find what works for you in boss fights and what works for you exploring. And I think I want to end it on that. Anything else I say will be a spoiler. So go on. I hope you like my inputs on Hollow Knight. And stay cool. You don't need your phone overheating like mine.